Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, Yushi Talks. And today we are talking about Peyton Oswald, who roasted Ted Cruz on Twitter after Senator jabs at his comedy career. We have more details about what exactly happened. Please continue to watch this video and also subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. Texas Senator Ted Cruz seemingly got more tweets that, uh, than he bargained for this week after he taunted Peyton Oswald over Oswald's comedy career and COVID-19 safety. Cruz took the first shot on Thursday, retweeting a headline about Oswald 52 cancelling startup shows in Florida and Utah because the venues would not require audience members to be vaccinated. Both of his fans were disappointed that Texas Republican, who has a habit of social media provocation, wrote above the article. Oswald responded in kind, taking Cruz to task for a number of controversies in a thread directed at the former Republican presidential candidate. Okay, Ted, here we go. Not as disappointed as Texas when you cut your can come vacation short and came home. Oswald wrote first, a nod to Cruz's much criticized February trip to Mexico as his constituents were days without water or heat during a deadly winter storm. Cruz called it a mistake later. Oswald continued, Ted, you tweeted about this at 1 a.m. Put the phone down and return to liquid form for a few hours. And then, in a reference to Cruz's objection to presidential election results, shortly before pro-Trump rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol, he said, Ted, my fans are all at home waiting to see you at the January 6th hearings. I'm slow so flattered you took time from your phone scrolling for this, Ted. Oswald said in a final jab at the lawmaker a reference to a 2017 pornographic tweet which was liked on Twitter by Cruz's official account. The senator attributed it to a staffing issue and said it was a mistake. The comedian ended his thread by saying that he had fun and calling Cruz a friendless, cowardly embarrassment whose beard looks stupid. This is far from Cruz's first war of words. He also has a willingness to wade into back and forth with people ranging from Mark Cuban to Seth Rogen. Even those in his own party have reportedly had a hard time finding Cruz like him. So that's all we have in today's video. Please continue to watch this, please. For more information, news. Thanks for watching us. We have a wonderful day here. Bye bye.